Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Kendra and this is the Weekly Watch List. We are reacting to Bridgerton, which is a surprise, but we're going to watch episodes one and two today. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra. This is the Weekly Watch List and I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> So, first of all, there is a reason that I'm dressed this way. Let me just... <laughs> There's a reason I'm dressed this way and it is because I'm going to do something that is quite unusual for my channel. This is not the kind of show that I would normally react to, but I... There are some true things about myself. Okay, number one, I'm a huge romantic. Aww. I'm a huge romantic. Um, I mean, if you see how emotional I get for a lot of things, and if you see some of the things that I respond to and the things that I do react to, then you, you, you should gather that I'm a huge romantic. Okay, number two, I love intensity. I love well planned, well thought out, um, well detailed intensity. And if there are two things that this show is known for <laughs> to have in abundance, <laughs> it is romance and intensity and drama. I'm a f drama queen. I love drama. You know, there is a lot of drama in the Marvel Universe with the X-Men and Loki's dramatic ass and Wanda and you know all, all, all this stuff going on in all those worlds that I love to visit but what y'all don't know is that I'm a romantic and I gotta react to Bridgerton I'm sorry I gotta react to Bridgerton I got it I just gotta I tried to watch the first season and I unfortunately I gotta be honest I did not I wasn't feeling it I really wasn't feeling it I didn't really connect with the couple at all and so I stopped watching it I think I stopped halfway through I stopped at the fourth episode maybe I can't remember it's, it was right when it came out so I don't really remember um so I just left it alone and gave it up but I lurk in the culture and you can't not hear about this and I have friends who love this show and I heard about Colin and Penelope and the more that I heard the more curious I got I listened to the book and I want to give a shout out to Rosalind Landor um, because she her <laughs> Her voice work on uh, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is the book that I listened to in preparation for this. Oh, wah, 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 wah. So I'm damn sure that when I listen to the other books, it's gonna be fire because she's really good. Colin and Penelope. I fell in love with them mostly because I so identify with Penelope. And before, look, look, before you get smart in the comments, I identify Penelope soul to soul. I also grew up a awkward, you know, girl who just was not popular, got bullied, got made fun of, you know, basically got told that, you know, I wasn't very attractive um, back then when I was growing up and I was very lonely as a child and I always felt different just from my family. I love my family. That is the difference between uh, me and Penelope among other things but like the core of her being misunderstood and finding that escape finding that purpose in writing I'm a writer myself that those things um, and of, of course who doesn't you know relate to unrequited love being in love with this dashing handsome guy um, that you have no chance in hell I don't think you have any chance in hell of ever getting um I've hello certainly been there um so yeah I fell in love with Penelope and then I fell in love with Colin and the way that he fell in love with Penelope in this book so I have seen some gifts I know about the carriage scene I have seen some steamy things but I'm really excited for the most part to see how these actors 
bring these two characters to life on screen um and i know just from what i've seen from their interviews and from you know the the few little clips and snippets that i have seen um that they have great chemistry um and i just really i just think they're so cute they're so adorable but they they're also they look pretty hot together so i i'm excited about this because it's here's what i'm doing it's so unorthodox and i don't give a f if you know anything about me, Taurus, you'll know. I don't. Don't tell me what to do. Don't, don't tell me what to do. do. If you try to tell me what to do, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it the way you want me to do it. I'm gonna do it the way I want to do it. So I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm starting with my favorite couple of the moment right right now, which is Pollen, uh, Colin and Penelope, and then I'm gonna move backwards. I'm gonna go back to Kate and Antony. I'm gonna. Um, do uh, Queen Charlotte because the Queen I remember from my first encounter with this show is my favorite. She is my favorite. Her and Lady Danbury. I know who those people are. Um, and I also know that the Bridgerton matriarch um, Violet is also no 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 love her. Um, so I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna see by the time I get to season one if I can use the goodwill and the love and the enthusiasm that I know already I'm going to have for Colin and Penelope and Kate and Anthony because I've seen some of them and they look hot. Um, see if I appreciate uh, Daphne a little bit more, at least their story. So we'll see. Um, I'm so, so, so excited about this. I'm just going to binge this straight through. I don't know how I'm going to release it. Maybe um, in two episodes spurts. I'm not really sure, but I don't really care because I'm so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> um, okay, get ready. Buckle, Buckle up. up because you're about to see Kendra doing a lot of panting and pining and inappropriate jokes. Thirsty, thirsty Kendra. Just get ready for thirsty Kendra because it's happening. It's happening. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Let us react to Bridgerton season three, episode one. <laughs> I'm not gonna recognize any of these songs, by the way. <laughs> so don't even expect me to. It's good to be home. It certainly is. Oh, look at you. Uh -huh. season, Everybody reading. Whistle down. With confidence and charisma. And then there is Miss Barrigan, who certainly stands out in a crowd. Oh, she wrote my name! Oh my god. Seems as though your business is thriving. As is yours. So she knows. There is another Bridgerton making her debut this year. Oh, Probably because she knows we are out here eavesdropping. Francesca is very... Oh, boring. Francesca. Perhaps she's been stunned into silence by the beauty of that giant feather. Perhaps she has swallowed that giant feather. Would you mind asking whoever is playing downstairs to quieten down so I might hear? Yeah. Is that not in fact? Francesca! There's no need to shout. I must say, all those piano <laughs> lessons in Bath have reaped their reward. How did you get down here? I've been outside your door all morning. I woke up early, got dressed, took breakfast in the garden, because it is just another day. Shall we go? Where's Colin? This For is our Colin. Young ladies will certainly need <gasps> some. Oh, I think it's Colin. I love him, by the way. And Luke Newton. This year. Don't even get me started. Oh, Colin! So cute! Trying to be a rake. Okay. Apologies for my late arrival. I got stuck in presentation traffic. Oh, his voice. <laughs> Do you not wish to greet me? I wish to greet you. <laughs> Why are you looking over there, Colin? You can at least say hi, dude. Just making sure Penelope's always there like she's always there. <laughs> you must tell us all about your adventures. Oh, yes. Oh. When you returned last season, we'd heard all about your toil across the Mediterranean Sea. By the time we broke, I saw this in the trailer. I saw this in the trailer. Okay, it's the Queen. Oh, hey, Charlotte. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. You don't have to yawn at the girl. The lack of interest here today shall usher me to an early grave at any moment. <laughs> Since when are you one who simply glides in? Since when do you wear so many ruffles? <laughs> it is the style of the season. Since when are you interested in the style of the season, uh, Eloise? Miss Francesca Bridgerton, presented by her mother, the Right Honourable Dowager Lady Bridgerton. Come on, girl. M move, move, Francesca. There you go. Oh, she's a Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Your Majesty, you have had good luck with Bridgertons. Okay, now she's bored again. 
Ew, come on, Kyle, it's tough. <laughs> Do you find yourself back in town for Ooh, a Oh, he's so cute. In search of something or someone? I'm afraid the answer may disappoint. You know, I, I, I kind of feel for the dudes back then because it's like you can't step one foot in front of the other without somebody being like, ooh, uh, uh you want to get married? Hey, 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 sir, can, marriage, marriage, marriage over here, you want to get married? You know, like, no. <laughs> if it isn't Penelope Featherington, back in the dress, the color President. of Eloise, shall we go and get some lemonade? It's a splendid idea. Befriending you, though, was a happy surprise. Oh, no, but Penelope, don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, Mr. girl. Tom. <laughs> Not the bird. Don't stand next to the bird. Like it's a tree. Penelope. Handsome, romantic, intelligent. Do not forget well bred and tall. <laughs> Lady hey. Hey. Oh, Lady oh, Danbury. Yeah. Are you enjoying the festivities today? Very much, although the Queen's absence is no. They answered at the same yes. time. That's cute. I do think she finds herself somewhat reticent Bored. after her instincts went astray last season. Uh, but of course, it all worked out in the end. Ah. Mm, uh, <laughs> last season, okay. Yeah, gotta watch that. My travels. I cannot begin to share my travel adventures with you. If I did, you would swoon. <laughs> Look at this mother. <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, this shit is easy as hell. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got it, learned it. <laughs> this poor girl. Oh. It is good to see you. Can definitely see why they call her a wallflower. Is it? Truly, it has felt like I've been absent years instead of months. Much has certainly changed in that time. All right, so did, so uh, apparently he says some some shit last season about never wanting to court Penelope Featherington. All is said and done is merely clothing. As you said, sometimes time moves really quickly. <laughs> I take comfort in knowing that you will always be here to take care of me. What a depressing thing to say to your daughter. I do not wish to see a citrus color ever again. Sour colors indeed. Oh. But what has brought about this sudden desire for change? I cannot live at home any longer. To live at the whim of either the most cruel or the most simple person I know, I must take a husband before that happens. Perhaps something like what they're wearing in Paris. It is lovely, truly. I love a mama's boy. Just don't expect me to take care of you like your mama, because I'm not doing that. Oh, awkward. C could you please meet me in the carriage, right? I've been hoping we would meet. I avoided society because I did not know if you'd want to see me. And perhaps because you were worried I might reveal your secret. You may not understand what I did, but I was only trying to protect- No, I do not need your explanations. I do not wish to keep revisiting the past. I wish you very well, Penelope. Oh, Corgi! What? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's Kate and Anthony. Getting busy. Wow, they are exquisitely carved human beings. Ooh. Mm. Ignore them. I cannot help. <laughs> Tonight is Lady Danbury's ball. I must make a good impression. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about all that waffle. Come here. You know, eat the rich and everything, but I get it. Well, I get being catered to change that hair. Change that hair. Cute. Don't be nervous, girl. You look gorgeous. Guess who just walked in the round? Guess who just walked in the round? Press first. Press first. Yes. Hello, Colin. Never date Penelope Phillips in my butt. She don't like dancing with her. What a striking gown you have on. You, you as well, my lord. Uh, <laughs> it is a, a pleasure to see you all in your proper evening dress, which is not at all gown-like. Oh. Do you not have a favorite, Miss Eloise? Oh, hello, ma'am. The shift, shift stitch. stitch. What? It is the one that shifts this conversation, perhaps to something besides embroidery. Haha, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, a jest. Yes. How clever. Which I see that you are not. <laughs> perhaps we should take our leave. 
lest we remain too long and give Lady Whistledown something to write about. That was just your first try. That's okay. That, that didn't go that, that bad. Piano forte does take up a great deal of my time. <laughs> oh, well, I think what Lord Fife means to say is, who are you besides your hobbies? Yes. What do you desire? <laughs> what do you despise? Oh, what God. Did you... Where did you read this, sir? Brother, I should like a moment alone. Okay, girl. You could have at least went to another room. Don't sulk in public. Shameless. Penelope. Once one finds oneself in the wall, it is difficult to come off it. At least the wall is not asking what makes me tick. I expected conversation. I did not expect to be inspected as if I were some rare insect writhing under a microscope. Girl, I know. You do not much like attracting notice, do you? Not really. I am different from my siblings as well. It can be difficult, can it not? Oh, Penelope! She is so cute! I love her. Why would anybody be mean to put Look at how precious. We'd have so much notice. For some of us, the notice is very slight. You really ought to take to the floor again. It's difficult to come off the wall once you are on it. Jello. I love you, friend Jessica, but hush now. Are you well, Miss Featherington? Brain freeze. Yes, forgive me. Cold headache. From the ice cream or from the very congenial looking miss with the sneer? <gasps> Do not worry. I have been the recipient of an untold number of withering looks. Hers was mediocre at best. And why do I have the feeling that you, in turn, know how to make one wither? If oh! you so choose. Oh, yes, you girl. Well, I, I, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, well. Uh, excuse me, I. Am... Oh! <gasps> Cressida, you big bird looking. Perhaps if you had not bought such cheap fabric, it would not have ripped. Hold you the good. That's your friend? That's your new friend? And I'm, I'm so sorry. I've definitely had that happen to me where a friend and I fell out and then she became my bully. What are you doing out here? I'm just getting some fresh air. Why are you leaving so soon? Especially in such a charming dress. Shut up, mock me, please. I assure you, I'm quite serious. The color rather suits you. Good night. Getting some fresh air you're after you saw her. Spinsters do not need chaperones. <laughs> you are not a spinster. I am in my third year on the marriage mark with no prospects to show for it. What would you call that? Something wrong. Pen, I wrote to you this summer, as I always do, and why you do not respond. If you are going to make me say it out loud, I miss you. You miss me. You miss me, but you would never so call me with that correct. I overheard mm -hmm. you. And my mama's ball last season. And what Telling about everyone it? how you would never ever call Penelope Featherington? Mm-hmm. You gotta say for yourself, Colin. Perhaps we should have brought this somewhere more private. Because Why? I miss you. Of course you would never caught me. I am the laughing stock of the tiny when I changed my entire wardrobe. It just never occurred to me that you of all people could be so cruel. Damn, the first ball of the season, she got a whole new wardrobe and that crested a bitch. Yeah, go. Right. Right, Miss Whistle Down. I did this when I was in junior high school. I had myself a little uh, gossip note ring called Miss Motormouth. Now I'm passing out my little notes um, during lunch, put them in people's lockers. Tell all the business. Everybody knew it was me, though. My dear, tell me. Did you enjoy your first ball? It was satisfactory. <laughs> She's an introvert, leave her alone. I'm not frightened of the balls, Mama. Or of finding a match. But you will at least be open oh. if love comes your way. Let us see what happens. You have a visitor, miss. No one's coming! Sorry, it's all right. And I'm very sorry. Oh, she looks comment. snatched in that dress. It pains me to see you upset. Then perhaps you should not have come. I seek you out at every social assembly because I know you will lift my spirits and make me see the world in ways I could not have imagined. You are clever and warm and... I am proud to call you my very good friend. It has been vexing 
watching you walk back into society with such ease. I was in 17 cities this summer. Charm can be taught. Colin, I cannot have you with me whispering into my ear in every ballroom. You will not need that. But I mean, I would, I would like it though. What do you say? It is perhaps unusual, but are we not friends? Friends. They look so good easy. together. Ooh. That was also unusual, Colin. Showing a lot of physical affection. Is that whistle down? Dearest gentle reader. Oh, what you all oh, right, because she was pissed. And then there are some who take the embrace of change a step too far. Good afternoon. Just a what are you reading? Nothing. <laughs> Terrible laugh. Whistle down. As with Mr. Colin Bridgerton, who seems to have embraced a new personality entirely. But one must wonder, is this new character the real him? How are you? Scathing. <laughs> I do not care what Lady Whistledown writes about me. But ruining Miss Thompson, I mean Lady Crane, and then nearly ruining you last season, I will never... Forgive her. Do you have any idea who she might be? If I ever find out, I will make sure it is her life that is ruined. No! I really enjoyed that. I did not want it to be over, as a matter of fact. So we're just going to scoot a boot on to the next. Is that a pineapple? I hear my choice last year, Miss Edwina, has made a splendid match abroad. If I am to grant someone my favor, she must. I like this hair, this new I auburn think. hair color. Why must I be the object of your curiosity? It is not me whose outlook has most changed. Did you not promise Anthony you would give society a try? <laughs> I shall see you later. Oh. He going to say hi to his girl. How do we begin? But perhaps there is a book I might read on charm. Are you saying you want my help after what Lady Whistledown wrote? She has never been more wrong about anyone. I just pay her no heed. I should like to see your skills as they are first. But I have none. You know how to wave your fan, flutter your lashes. Often that is all it takes. Because I ain't seen her doing it. That's cruel, man. Why are you going to put that girl on the... Oh, you know, no. <laughs> Splendid weather we are having. She gonna faint. You seem discomposed. Uh, no, forgive me. I'm quite well, my lord. <laughs> mm. How did they get out of that? But you look cute, though. You look cute. Look at this waist. Look at this boozoom. Like, you know, you probably don't even have to say anything. Just go... <sighs> I hear Lord Courtney arrived in town last night. It's a good match for Francesca. Would you oh, sleep well. your daughter Lord's alone? Petrie and Godwin are both great supporters of the arts as well. Then you must talk to all three. It is good to have options. You may have more than you realize. Her Majesty is not done with the season. She is still seeking her diamond by some other name. Nevertheless, Ooh. she desires to see more. It could be Gossip. anyone. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Are you really enjoying yourself at all? I don't buy it. I would not be angry if you found me to be a lost cause. What are you looking the at? The truth is, you do not need a lesson. Do you remember when we first met? I was riding my horse, minding my own business, when I was assaulted by a devilishly yellow head covering. It was not my fault the wind looked clean off my head. And you were so very charming about it. And I think I know why. We were children. And living for the estimation of others is a trap. Once you break free, the world opens up. That is good advice. so easy. Look at his face. He, she excites him. Why is it you want a husband? Why are you asking? So that I may have my freedom. So that I may feel comfortable in the world. What is the one thing in the world that makes you feel most comfortable now? There used to be Sunday teas at Bridgerton House. It is no longer a possibility. I'm sorry about whatever might be coming between you and Eloise. What exactly happened? You, you, you can't know that. I should get back. <laughs> Hesitating, Heiser? I do not hesitate. And yet, here we are waiting. Now you hesitate. I should like to trade. 
They get along with each other so I well. Out of this really round. You coward. I told you you had the strategy. Penelope. I've been eagerly waiting your visit. As have I, but it would be better for me to meet Eagerly, Carolyn. We are not going to the market this time. We are going to the British drawing room. Uh, but why? Your next lesson, of course. You've seen my family play Pound Mal. You know how competitive we are. Trust me, not one of them will be leaving that table in the immediate future. I mentioned you were comfortable at Bridgerton House, so we're going to practice here. I was comfortable at Bridgerton House. He is just, he's just a little to too here, eager to be doing this outside. for somebody who is can pretend we were at a ball. supposed to be... Have you gone mad? Like, he's taking being her friend and teaching her a charm just a little, a little bit too seriously for somebody who's supposed to be raking about town, you know what I mean? Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary cellist? And there's nobody in there supervising you. them, which I don't know. I'm the perfect anyway. person to practice on. Forgive me, it's only... I know I can be clever and amusing, but... Somehow my character gets lost between my heart and my mouth, and I find myself saying the wrong thing, or more likely, nothing at all. Forget what is wrong or right. Your eyes, the most remarkable shade of blue. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. I, I might say something like that if you... Uh, baby. Mm. Eloise is here. You can hide in the study. Ooh, she left her shawl thing. That was getting good. Is this where she's going to read his journal? I can't remember how it happened in the book, actually. I think she was just waiting for somebody. I can now declare with great certainty that Paris is some of the most beautiful women in the world. On the tree-lined streets of La Marais, and the charming cafes along the Seine are at times. And the city is still alone at night. <laughs> In those moments alone, as my fingers trace Ooh, freckles his from voice. cheek to collarbone, I marvel at how one can feel such intimacy, but also such great distance. Ooh. Were you reading that? No, I, I, I did not mean to. You did not mean to pick up my journal and read it? No, I, I did, but I should not have. Well, no, you should not. <gasps> Damn! Colin, your hand! It is nothing. It is not nothing. Stay there. Let me... Okay, he didn't get as mad as I thought he was going to get, which, okay, that's... Your writing is very good. Perhaps we should pause for the day. Will I see you tonight? Uh, indeed, thank you for the um, lesson. Oh, he's, he still wants to see her. Oh, so cute. Something troubling you? Penelope was at our house today. I'm sorry for that. I didn't wish for her to be friendless, and you might be all she has now. Perhaps just not at the house. I only want to make sure she is not suffering or despondent. She is neither suffering nor despondent. He's so arrogant. In fact, she <laughs> seeks you. to take a husband this season. <laughs> Penelope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so unlike her. Perhaps she has changed. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Is that wise? Who should help her? She does not have any male relatives. Yes, but you're an eligible suitor. And that is why we're not telling anyone. Alright, that's uh, dangerous because you're literally helping the lady whistle dead. Good evening. I'm sorry again for reading your writing, but you truly write so well. I would very much like to read more one day. I will consider it. If you speak to at least one lord tonight, whom do you suggest? Do you want to read? Him. Lord Basilio is a Viscount. And you are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. Lord Basilio, I did not see you there. No matter. Oh. I cultivate reserve these days anyway. Life is too short for that, is it not? Oh. What happened? His horse recently died. <laughs> you are joking. I have not. <laughs> Colin. Forgive me. Um, <clears throat> I did not know. We shall gallop along. <laughs> well. And what about you? We began. You began? Oh, I do not enjoy it. If you don't want to enjoy sex with your husband, girl, I feel sorry for you. Inserts himself. Inserts himself? Inserts himself where? What? You said! What you said, though! What do you and Mr. Finch do? 
Like we kiss, and then he goes to change his britches. Why must I be punished over and over? <laughs> Good evening, Lord Remington. Miss Featherington. I heard Her Majesty is yet to choose a diamond, and it has caused some consternation with your fellow young ladies. How I do are not you, much sir? care for idle gossip. <laughs> I love a bit of gossip. On day's whistle down is delivered, I sit by the door and read it as soon as it arrives. <laughs> I must admit, I do quite enjoy Whistledown. Don't you know, what for guys, would you enjoy Whistledown? Yes, she is having fun in conversation, Colin. Don't worry about it. And he about to make a beeline for Penelope. Watch. Colin. Do you like him? Very much. Mr. Bridgerton, we were wondering why an eligible gentleman such as yourself would help a spinster find a husband. <laughs> you Bitches. Mm, it's actually all rather sad. Who told? I'm mad at you, Eloise. Eloise, did you tell anyone of my helping Penelope? No, I, I did. I did not mean. Which to... means you did. I, I, I confided in Cressida. Because you thought you could trust her. Why you were friends with Cressida in place of Penelope, I will never understand. so manipulative so I'm gonna interrupt this girl's private time to show the queen what a diamond did the rough you are girl poor Penelope we know there is one young lady who most certainly wishes her plans had remained in the dark is this what you wanted to happen I do not know what you're speaking when you spread gossip about someone it will inevitably end up in Whistledown you must know that I did not communicate your secret but I did know Livingston whispering around the room after hovering nearby. You were rather indiscreet when you told me about Penelope. I do appreciate your concern about cruelty, but perhaps you should like to find a looking glass. You have a visitor. What are you doing here? Hey, Colin. I bribed her to give us a moment to learn. Oh, did you know? I had to see how you were. Oh my God, his voice. She's beastly Sorry. to write such things about you. It's her job to report what everyone is talking about. It would have been suspicious if she had not. In truth, I brought this on myself. Don't say suspicious, because that's suspicious. A sad, stupid girl who believes she might possibly have a chance of love. You must not say such things. Colin, could I ask you something? Of course. Would you kiss me? Ooh. This is definitely a more romantic it setting than mean anything. the book. And I would never expect anything from you because of it, but I am nearly on the shelf and I have never been kissed and I am not certain I ever will be. I could die and it would kill me. You would already be dead. I do not wish to die without ever having been kissed. <laughs> you would already be dead. <laughs> That's bold, to ask your crush to kiss you. They don't like it. Keep going. Pull him into the foyer. Thank you. He's like, whoa. Yeah, that's your girl. That's your girl, Penelope. Mm. No. Damn it. Okay. I totally love them, y'all. I'm a pollen shipper. I'm a pollen stand. Colin and Penelope all the way. I'm gonna give that an 8 out of 10. Let's talk about it. I am really enjoying myself so far. I am just, ugh. Uh, I hope that I'm giving good commentary. I think I am. Um, but for the most part, I'm just like staring because I'm so into the story. I really, really, really love Penelope. Colin is, oof, he's crush material, chow. Um, and everything else is just very entertaining. The story involving the Kents and like the whole thing about, you know, working really hard to bring yourself up in society and then all of a sudden having this fortune and this title land in your lap without warning, trying to adjust to that and finding it that tricky. I just really love the way that they have adapted this story. Like the whole, uh, let me give you lessons on charm and everything. Like 
that whole part, you know, sort of being the way that she ends up, you know, reading his journal and um, one of the ways that he ends up sort of discovering um, all of the things about Penelope that he's been admiring um, without even noticing that he's been admiring it this whole time. Like, what's the reason that he seeks her out in every social function? Because she's funny, because she listens to him, because she inspires him, because she has shown to be loyal to him and care about him. And, you know, that's because she's in love with him. You know, he doesn't know that, but what he knows is that he's, he's putting together all of these character traits in her that he greatly admires and for him that right now just equals friendship because he's trained by the society of london and by the ton to see a certain type of woman as the type of woman that you seek out as a mate that's one of the reasons why i love their story is because it's it's so gradual it's so it just feels like home like by the time they finally find each other they're each other's home which is the way that I would want my love to be. You know, I would want anybody that I ended up falling in love with to feel like home, the way that my twin sister feels like home, but like on a different level, if that makes any sense. So, cause I just feel like if you're gonna spend the rest of your life with somebody, that's what it should feel like. It shouldn't feel forced. It shouldn't feel like an obligation, you know, like, oh, I, I have to do this, you know, because society said so. No, it shouldn't feel like that. It should feel like you're coming home to that person. And like, yeah, there should be passion and there should be intensity and chemistry. And there should be also this balance though. And I think a best friend has that already because you've spent the time to establish that without those other emotions like sex and all those other feelings clogging that up so that by the time those other feelings come in you have a great foundation for a home that's the way i that's how i think of it. everybody else's apartments and airbnbs and shit you know the one is the forever home so that's what Colin and Penelope represent to me. Let's keep going. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to go ahead and give these first two episodes collectively um, an 8 out of 10. Because I think that they are doing a good job of showing at least Penelope's journey. I feel Colin's journey is still a little bit in the abstract it hasn't come sharply into focus yet but i'm hoping the next two episodes would do that and then we also have the back half of the season very excited let's keep going